What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. In the previous episode, we did a big backtrack session. We went back to the Lost Bastille. We fought some bosses. We went to the Doors of Pharaohs, the unexplored section there, and we fought a the Rat Lord there. And uh, now that we have kind of gone through areas that we skimmed over previously, we're ready to tackle this place right over here it is called iron keep and boy does it remind me of elden rings what's it called i don't even remember the elden ring uh fireplace or uh if we want to talk about it lost isolith kind of reminds me of lost isolith in the way just the lava part not the actual uh, castle here. But let's get straight into this mother freaking episode. My goodness. <laughs> Did I accidentally step? I obviously stepped too far, but what the heck? It felt like I just got sucked into that lava right there. Oh boy, oh boy, this is gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a long one. I, I feel it in my bones. Sheesh. Didn't even get to explore the place. I just get. Oh my gosh. Just get dropped by lava. This lady right here is dangerous. Come on. Come on. Sheesh. I just got like uppercut or something like that. That's what it looked like. Ouch, that hurt. Right, let's use the shield more. There's something we've been neglecting is using the shield. So quick now. Goodbye, sir. Now let's actually get back to Iron Keep. Let's do it. Epic jump. Epic jump. I better find a bonfire right after this bridge so I don't have to keep on doing that if I die. Because I have a feeling I'm going to die a lot in today's episode, and I'm not looking forward to it. I want I want to just get through the area. But if I die, so be it. That's what happens to me. Boom, parry. Boom, parry. I have not been parrying since, like, the first episode. I decided it's not worth taking that damage, extra damage, trying to get the perfect parry on someone. So, I swear, parrying in Dark Souls 1 is so easy compared to this game. This is the weirdest Dark Souls I've ever played. It's just so different compared to Dark Souls 3 and 1. This is weird. Like, I keep telling myself I'll get used to the gameplay. Of all the fights and stuff like that, but it never happens. I never get used to it. I never... I don't think I ever learn, really. Every time I just feel like I'm playing a different game. It's a good game, it's just different. It's just very, very different. And uh, let's not fall into the lava. Oh my goodness, there's a bonfire. I'm so happy I decided to come over here. Freaking bonfire lit. The threshold bridge. Oh my gosh! What the frick? Not at all did I expect that to do so much damage to me. Gosh, dang it! Oh, we gotta learn the hard way. My gosh! What a bait, man. Alright. I gotta put on some lava resistant, uh... 
talismans, or maybe I put on these little things. Uh, boost fire defense. I feel like these puffs are going to be magical for us, so... Let's uh, put on one of these puffs here. Fire defense, and let's see if there's anything else that could help us with fire defense. Um... No, there's not really a thing here. That's our only... My gosh, I don't even want to... I'm not even going to attempt to get that item. Holy, that was messed up, man. That was freaking messed up. Let's just cross the bridge. I freaking love the look of this castle. Oh, there's a message. Try victory. Oh, yeah, we got a katana guy. We're just gonna backstab him though. He looks very, very strong. So we need to be careful. So we have katana people in knight armor. How does that work? I don't really know. How that works. Oh my gosh, I don't even wanna jump down there. I don't wanna deal with it. I just don't. We're not dealing with that today. I guarantee you. We're not dealing with that. Let's take a look at this uh, statue here. He's holding a scroll and it looks like he's preaching to a group of people. For some reason, like it looks like he's reaching his hand out either to Either they forgot to put a pen in his hand and he's reaching to put his pen in some ink to write on that scroll or he's kind of putting his hand on someone and he's like blessing them or judging them or something like that. <laughs> Iron Keep. I don't think this is a place where people get blessed. I think it's a place where people get condemned to death. Honestly, that's what I get from this kind of destroy woman. There's no woman here. Miscreant. I don't see no miscreant. What's it? What am I missing here? Oh! Dark, Dark Spirit Fencer Sharon. Holy crap. So this is the woman. Oh my gosh. What type of gear is this? Oh, I'm out of stamina already. I gotta heal. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Why can't I run? Right? Why, 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 why? Let's try emit force. Back off. Emit force. Oh, she dodges that. Oh, that does like no damage to her. Let's pop this real quick. Get the frick away from me. Let's pop another one. Oh my gosh, dude. Why does it feel like I'm extra slow right now? Why does my character feel like he's moving like a snail? I have the uh, the grass crest shield on and I have... Wait, I don't think I have the Chloranthi ring on, do I? I took that off in the previous episode. No, I still have it on. Dude, why do I feel like an absolute slug? All right. We can't even cross the bridge without dying. Holy crap. We're gone through like how many effigies? This is three effigies. Holy crap, dude. What is going on? <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna have to kill her with pure skill. I sense my weapon's damage falling off greatly right now. So. Gotta kill Katana, man. This guy runs really fast. And he swings fast. But the good thing is, we can stagger him. We can absolutely stagger this guy. Alright. Invade, you witch. Invade me, you witch. There we go. Trying to bait some attacks out. Oh, is that a whip? 
That sword turns into a whip. Okay. Let the stamina come back. This is a game of stamina. I keep on... Oh my gosh. Okay, she can always dodge my second swing, so... Let's just, uh... Have it stay that way. Oh, and she can swing faster than me with that. Very nice. Well, that's like the first kind of three-piece combo we've ever got. So we're gonna pop two of these. Hurry, hurry, pop them, pop them. I don't, I don't got the time to be like hesitant here. That's fine. There we go. Whoa, a little dangerous, a little dangerous. Oh my gosh, that's such a, that's such a uh, hard, uh... okay, okay, come on, we can't let her heal, if she heals, we're screwed, and we got her, let's go, let's freaking go, Fencer Sharon has been vanquished, that's right, Sharon, that's what you get for having your name be a, a Karen name, Sharon. There was a freaking Karen named Sharon, and she's dead now, and she's dead now. We freaking destroyed her. I should wait for the moment where there's going to be a lever that we hit that's going to drop all this lava somewhere. Like, it's going to drain the lava. How is that not obvious? I think that's what's going to happen. That's a little bit of prediction. And let's look at the uh, architecture here. Wow. An eagle. Of a mystical creature that has eagle wings. I like it a lot, though. And then this guy. Oh, he's still doing the same pose. I wonder if we're going to see him doing a different pose. And I just look. Look at us. We have half durability on our sword half it's insane oh he sees he knows we're uh, here he's gonna fall down we're gonna kill him though oh crap this guy oh holy frick stop it leave me alone I don't like you. You scare me. Oh my goodness. This place is a nightmare. Oh, these guys got great bows. We're screwed. We're screwed. Black Steel Katana. Let's take a look here. Black Steel Katana. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Oh wait, Mitha's Bent Blade. Dagger forged from the soul of Mitha, the baneful queen, coated with a potent poison. Mitha was the fairest queen in the land until something unhinged her. Was it the poison found deep within the earth or the passion that consumed her heart? Oh, that must have been the poison lady uh, serpent we killed. I forgot her name already. Um, Katana. We need a katana. The black serpent stinger, no. Dude, what the frick? Where is it? Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, Black Steel Katana. Black Steel Katana wielded by Alone Knights. One of the sturdiest types of katana, preferred by masters of the quick draw. In the heyday of his land, the Iron King fancied entertaining dubious and eccentric guests from faraway lands. Most of them were charlatans, but among the riffraff was an unusual knight from the Far East. He trained the Iron King's men in the sword in a being, uh, obeisance to his new... Oh, in obeisance 
an o obeisance to his new lord. Ah. So one of the riffraff was chosen to be a special guest. That looks, that reminds me of the Iron Maiden torture device from back in the day. Why do I know that? Because one day I was curious to know. Back in the old days, what was like the most brutal form of torture? And one of them was called the Iron Maiden. Actually, gross how uh, people were killed back in the day for punishments. Let's just say I'm glad that I uh, was not born during the during those times. Oof, what a rough time to live. Like I just oh, I'm an expert at finding finding illusory walls. Oh my gosh. That sucks. For anyone on the opposite side. Boom. Fire arrow. We got 20 of these. Anyways. Uh, I'm happy to be alive in in 2024. Surely. I don't know what just fell on me. I don't think that's a good thing it would fall on me. But I'm breaking them anyways. Pharaoh's Lockstone, yes! That's what we're talking about. We need that. We need that stuff. We need to we need to open up every Pharaoh's Lockstone that was in the doors of Pharaoh's down there in the previous episode. Okay. Oh, so that just took us on a U-turn. So we essentially just went a full circle. Nice. That's convenient, to be honest. There's gotta be more illusory walls somewhere, right? Nope, nope. I'm currently recording this. At uh, 1.20 in the morning, I'm gonna tell you guys, COVID, and World of Warcraft do not go well together. Uh, <laughs> I have um, completely, completely ruined my sleep schedule. It is bad how 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 much this has affected my daily routine. And who the frick do we find? We find a merchant. What's up, dude? What? Who are you? My name is Who's Sir Gabithy. Magarold. Magarold. I'm gonna forget this guy's name. And I don't care to write down anymore. Incense. What is incense? Can we offer a scroll to him? And he'll use it for something? Let's offer this. Well, oh, I get it. The simpleton spice. I see. So, if there's uh, an ability we're far off from using, we can lower its level by certain amounts. Uh, I don't think putting that so late in the game is going to be worth it because I've already have found my playstyle by the time I've gotten to Iron Keep. I don't think this is going to be useful for me moving forward. So, uh, sorry, Major Magarold of Lanafear. Let's see what items you're selling. Oh, Jester's Cap! Oh, okay, we got a jokester on our hands here. Curse Bite Ring, of course, of course. Only normal. He has a very good carving. Old wood carving that says very good. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is a uh, Hawkeye Goff's uh, hand-me-downs from the centuries. Someone found his uh, carvings, his art. Let's read the item description. Uh, faces carved from the wood of aged trees. They speak when thrown upon the ground. The fine craftsmanship of these faces is evident even after much aging, but no one even knows the name of the artist. Hey, let's talk about it, because we know about it. 
Ula Seal, you know, going back in time, meeting Hawkeye Go, one of the, or Hawkeye Goff, one of the four knights of Gwyn. Uh, absolutely best cutscene in the whole entire game where he uses sound to echolocate oh, the worst dragon of all time, the worst ca dragon of all time, freaking Calamite. And uh, boom, shoots him out of the sky so we can kill him. We know who makes this art Hawkeye Go. Best character in all of Dark Souls 1, in my opinion, outside of Artorius and uh, some other people. So we're going to buy this French fragrant branch of Yore, because uh, why not? And uh, we'll come back here. We need. Uh, we should actually probably... Let me move my Bible. We should... <coughs> not forget Major Magerhold of uh, Lanafir. I'm sorry if we're doing it. <sighs> Is gonna have to sit with me while I write down my horrible handwritten notes. Uh, Magerhold, Magerhold of Lanafir in the Iron Beak. Alright, no much lore needs to be added. So happy we know about Hawkeye Go. Uh, go goth though because that way we just made that connection and oh my gosh I love that how did this guy get his hands on that though he looks like a purveyor of goods kind of like um oh you should my guy cheers <laughs> domino well, that's actually you again let's talk well, with this I'm guy treasure runner, you see many a merchant on the side a room a bang, looking for a find, following me instincts. I don't care what things worth. What matters is whether it grabs me. A true treasure hunter. Do you enjoy what I do? Well, that's a good question. I think you do, right? Why would it's you be? I'm lost. I, I could do it every day. That's right. That's freaking right. There's good iron in these parts. An old king even used it to build a castle. The thing was too heavy, and it slowly sank into the ground. Ah, so there's Fire iron in the lava. The earth, and, and the place turned into this. At least, that's what I've been told. Not a bad story, eh? No, it's actually a pretty good story. So, what'll it be? Hey, you know that old fella with the hulking blue sword? <gasps> yes, we need to know him, Ben Hart. I've got a feeling it's a fake. I didn't want to disappoint him, so I just sort of talked around it. Oh, Ben Hart's what here. Say? There are lots of legendary swords, ain't there? <laughs> oh no, he's holding a fake legendary sword. And then if we convince him to give it to Malin, maybe Malin will buy the fake. It'll ruin his shop. He'll go back. But then we can get Ben Hart his actual legendary sword that he wants to hold. Have you heard? <laughs> The shrine on the eastern edge of Dragon Lake. <laughs> Built to honor the dragons, they say. <sighs> if only I knew how to get there. I'd, I'd go and I'd come for good is. Have we been there? Eastern Drang Lake. There's a bunch of whispers going on. Have we. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Not that I remember. I mean, a treasure runner, you see. A I think the wind you There's good iron in these parts. I like this guy. Magra hold of Lanafir, dude. Uh let's just Let's just use it on a dark orb. Uh, a spell demands devotion. Uh, the spice does not raise one's intelligence, but only abs ab obfuscates the requirement. Let's do that. Oh, now we can use it. Oh, dude, we're definitely using this. I don't care who you are. If we can buy Simpleton Spice off people, I'm lowering the requirement of this the, the this spell. Holy crap, we're gonna try that out. That's actually a useful mechanic. Cheers. That is not gonna be needed to get through the section of the game because I've already found 
And there is a fog wall right over there. Literal fog wall. Right there. How am I going to get over there? Anyways, I found my play style. I'm just doing that because it'd be fun to see if it'd be useful to me on top. Of all the stuff that I'm already doing. So, uh... So we find this illusion ahead. We know that. We found an awesome dude. Quite a pleasant guy, actually. Let's pop our repair powder. We should probably have more of it. But let's continue. Oh my death. Oh my gosh. What a freaking lovely... Holy... Goodness, the arrow travels fast. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're gonna. Oh, he runs so fast. Oh, there's more of them. Oh my gosh. I was trying to s switch to my throwing knife. Ooh. I don't like that. This is gonna be a tough one, man. Alright, are you gonna run and jump on top of my head? Nope. My skills are going to be tested here. I, uh, I know this for a fact. Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, the fact that they run so fast. I don't like that either. Okay, so we lowered one side. Now we're gonna have to use that to, uh... So we're gonna fight this guy. Come on, switch. Oh no, we're gonna have to fight both at one time. Oh god. This is, this is tragic. Nice, nice. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Backstab him. Oh, backstab didn't work. Okay. So here's what we can do. I'm gonna drop down on here, rotate it to stop the flames. The poor soul who was ever, uh... I have no clue what the heck's happening. Try jumping. Oh my gosh, who the frick are you? Oh, that guy looks sick. That's some cool armor right there. What? Is this a giant furnace for torturing people? Oh, I thought that guy just jumped into the lava. I was like, you stupid idiot. So let's go over here, pull this back. I really have no clue what the frick we're doing at all. I can open this. It's over here. Yeah, there's no way we're getting that. <laughs> That's a joke. Alright. So. Ooh, oh, there's an item here. Large titanite shard and a dragon petrified bone. Let's open up this side. And now we've got our shortcut. And that's how we're going to boss through this place. We got to figure out how to open up this and lower the, the chain down. That's how we're going to get that chunk of iron that Magerhold was talking about. Uh, but uh, I don't like this. Can I bait this guy? Oh my gosh! I can't, dude! I'm stuck. Oh 
Oh my gosh. What a... That's cancer. I'm sorry. That is... I knew I should have taken more aggression towards that first guy. I freaking knew it, man. Oh, and now we're gonna have to go through that whole section. This is gonna be tough, man. And holy crap, that guy's got cool armor. What the frick? I'm missing out. Oh, he's not dead. Ooh, wait. So the gates. Oh, wait. No, wait, hold on. Are the gates still up? Oh, they are. I thought I maybe affected that somehow. Armorer Dennis. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my gosh. Oh my freaking gosh. This is a joke. This is a f***ing joke. Sorry, I'm cussing. Shouldn't be cussing. I hate this guy. I hate this armorer. What is he? I killed him already. What is he doing here, man? At least that katana guy stopped following me. Oh, nice. Just die, dude. Oh. What is this? Like the gauntlet of invaders that you fought throughout your journey? My gosh. Let's freaking fight again. Come over here. Come over here, you nerd. I see you as well. Come on. Okay. It's gonna be hard to get through this section. Alone knight armor, let's go. There we go, we trapped him. Oh my gosh, there's more. So many enemies to kill. Dying is gonna suck here, I guarantee you that. They come out of nowhere. Gosh, that's scary. That is so scary. They run too fast. Holy crap. What a nightmare. Nice. Open up both sides. Yep, there's a f dude we can kill here. Just, we need to have it be a reminder that we're already low on weapon durability. Just get in here. Get into the room so we can fight each other. Thank you. Alright, top that off the life gem. And then we're gonna have to seriously, like... Properly aggro this guy. Let's 
Is he not gonna jump down? The question is, do I survive this fall? Probably not. Any illusory walls here? Nope. Just an item. Soul of a Proud Knight in some repair powder. I think this place knows that we're gonna struggle with uh, weapon durability. We should probably have a plus 10 on standby when we eventually run out of uh, weapon durability, which is, you know, going to happen. Can't avoid it. So we killed him. Hooray for sniper spot. Great, now go away you freaking message. I wanna hit the wall instead of actually. Life ring plus one, twinkling titanite. That's cool, that's cute. Uh, so we're gonna take out this guy. This is always a very, uh, Boring part though, but we're getting through it. We're getting through it. And he's dead. Now let's uh, walk on over there. Let's drop down here. We did a good job at felling our opposition. Now we gotta make it over here and fell this guy. There's no one to my right. There's gonna be two people here. There we go. Now he's out of range. He's back in range. Oh, 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 oh look. The, 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 the crusty crew wants to join the party. They heard their friends getting killed and they wanted to join. They freaking come out of nowhere, man. They're, they're, they're terrifying. They're absolutely terrifying creatures. So apparently there was some more on the right. Oh my gosh, what is this? This game's a joke. You're kidding me. There's two of them. <laughs> then there's that guy. This is, oh, this sucks. This sucks so much. Dude, what is this horrible enemy placement? Come on, man. Well, I mean, what the fudge is this god awful enemy placement? Like Dark Souls 1. And Orlando is not as atrocious as this. This is atrocious. Like, what the actual F were these guys thinking? Making this game. Oh, that was kind of sick. Absolute, just god awful. Absolute trash. Oh, now you, you kind of want to get close. Now that I'm using the arrow. If that's how I gotta bait you, I'm gonna bait you doing just that. Goodbye. Good riddance. You're dead. Goodbye. So where'd that guy run through? Kinda doesn't know what to do. Alright, enough complaining, because complaining never got anyone anywhere. You're just gonna do what you can do. Okay, so we dealt with that. <sighs> okay. 
probably run and jump and make it there, but don't even want to risk that. I don't want to risk that. I don't want to risk that as well. No, I'm not risking it. It's not worth it. I can't even undo that. So that's just supposed to stay there. Any illusory walls here? No. <laughs> Sorry guys, my nose. My nose! My routine is so off, man. I feel so god awful. Ugh, I feel so awful, man. Pretty cool, like, castle, though. <laughs> like I said, enemy placement uh, make makes helps in make or breaking a level. And, uh... So far, I'm not too proud of this level's, uh... Uh, enemy placement decision. But, hey, I don't, I don't run this kingdom. This is not my castle, so I don't get the... I, didn't, I never got to choose... Kind of what I wanted uh, the enemies to be like. Well placed. That's the king's choice. The king puts his chess pieces down. So here we just kind of make sure that. Nice, you will hit me. So he can break that? Charmer ahead. What the frick, man? This is a extremely cool section of the game right here. And w look at that. It's three people. So there's like a king and then there's like two angels on his side. Probably, probably get a better look here. Yeah, so it looks like a king with two angels on his side or something like that. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> so before we go through on that, we're going to have to jump across that ledge. If we go there, let's uh, open up this fog wall. Kind of just taking it all in. These pillars, like the way these pillars are designed reminds me of Ann Orlando so freaking much. Such a popular old uh, medieval castle structure um, support design. I love it. Oh, smelter demon. I see where we're going to get this armor from. Oh my gosh. Oh, how I love. Holy frick. Holy frick. Oh yeah, we're dead. take so long it's gonna take so long just to get back to that boss fight 
Uh, it's going to take so long just to get back there. I'm unhappy right now. Here we are. Bombarded by enemies. Yay. Yay. Woohoo. Dark Souls. Dark Souls 2. Woohoo. Oh, he'll make it. He'll make it. Yep, 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 yep. Nice. This guy, he'll make it. He'll make it. Yep. So we got this guy. Nice. I'm not impressed with your sprinting speed. Usain Bolt sprints faster than you. Okay. So we're now gonna have. There we go. Get wrecked. Get consumed by the giant flame of lava. The giant lava. Get consumed by it. Um. Great. So now we have. There we go. See, not the worst. I'm so impressed right now. This game is very questionable. The very questionable uh, design choices here. Um, yeah. <laughs> or maybe I'm just being hypercritical. I, I, I have got to be being very hypercritical here, right? Am I am I being appropriate to the to this game right now? Like am I being fair to it? How? What the fudge, man? Oh! It, <laughs> it almost happened again. That was just poorly timed movements on my end. And there we go. Just stun lock them. And I'm gonna make this jump. I don't care who you are. <sighs> wow! So I randomly get invaded by a forlorn at a moment like this. Like, what is happening right now? What is this place? Iron Keep. You suck. You suck. I mean, I think level design is kind of interesting. I think I, I, it's hard not to like a castle. I love castles. This is my third AI invader. Ah, uh, fudge off, dude. I don't got time for this. I don't want to deal with you. I'm sorry you don't have a home. I'm sorry you don't got some place to call your own. Oh my gosh. But why are you making it my problem? Why is it my problem that you don't got a home? How does that even hit me, dude? Drink.
Max out devotion to covenant. Um, okay. What covenant did I max my thing to? Uh, is it the uh, the PvP covenant? I know I, that I, if that's the case, that's just crazy how many times I'm getting invaded by uh, AI invaders. All right. Now well, let's deal with the horde again. Maybe you're not supposed to be able to make that jump. I should have known, right? That's dope. Oh! We just stepped to the side and dodged that. That's what I'm talking about, man. We're pros. We're gaming. I don't even okay repair but okay so, here, so here's what's gonna happen all right we're gonna we're gonna pop up repair powder I'm gonna pop an effigy seem like one of them died and then we're also just we need to put only heels on our equipment bar we're also gonna pop a green blossom And uh, we're gonna go fight this demon. This smelter demon. He looks so cool. We do no damage. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, this is sick actually. I don't like that. Don't blow up on me. Just gotta wait and see. So now he's more... He's more of a flame guy. I'm dead. Oh, I see. Oh, now he's got a flame sword. All right, now he's going to explode, right? No, he doesn't. Oh. I panicked, I panicked. I'm genuinely afraid right now. Why do I feel like I'm going to choke this at any moment now? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so freaking scared. Right now, this boss invokes fear. I'm dead, I'm dead. I don't wanna die. Shoot, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm panicking. Oh, fudge. Dang it, man. Oh. All right, we're back. We're back and we got to fight this scary freaking smelter demon. He's terrifying.
Uh, we gotta be careful of that always. So, here's moving forward. Whenever he does that jump smash attack, we are never... We are never going to, uh... We're never gonna attack him when he does that. For the sake of our own safety... All right, now we're gonna take damage whenever we're close to him. That's a delayed attack. We're gonna get used to that one. He's gonna jab. I'm gonna slowly drink that pestis. All right, and now we're gonna back up. Yep. Oh, does he do it twice? That's gonna be a learning curve. All right, we hit him once. There we go. Stay to the right. Back up. I right, now run. Heal up. Uh, repair powder. Wait, do I not have repair powder on my guy? Oh, we've made a mistake. We've made a mistake. We're gonna run out of. health we can do this we got lucky there back up yep okay now Rinse and repeat. Just run. Rinse and repeat. How do you even do this a boss without getting hit? Like, how do speedrunners do this without getting hit? Oh. All right, get our stamina back. Three hit combo. Run to the side. Reset. I'm gonna heal here. There we go. All right. Get away, get away. Heal up. Three hits. He dodged. There we go. We got him. We got him. That's a big weight off my shoulders. I thought I'd be stuck there for ever. Smelter Demon is dead. Whew. That's called a good boss fight right there. Holy crap. That's just a straight one-on-one -on -one boss fight with an epic enemy who looks cool and who damages you with his fire. I like that guy. That's a cool boss. Let's read what his soul says. Um, soul of the smelter demon that haunts the castle that sunk into a pool of iron. The old Iron King's life was taken by a mass of iron that had been given a soul. Was this metal Goliath there from the beginning? Or was it a product of the King's conceit? Wait, so this was that piece of iron that got smelted? The soul of the smelter demon that haunts the castle that sunk into a pool of iron. 
So the castle is in one giant piece of iron? Huh. Interesting. So we did that. Let's just level up here. Not level up, but like get our uh, health all the way. Well, dang. It's a pretty intense boss. Um, now let's use some of our repair powder. Do we have any of it? Or are we out? Yep, we have some of the repair powder. Yes, and there's a freaking bonfire. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, game. That's such a... A nice thing. And we got a porcine shield. Let's look for it. Oh, the, the freaking pig shield that uses for humiliation. The big head, the pig head looks eerily authentic, but it is an imitation. Though the shield's defensive capacity is ordinary, it may spook an unsuspecting foe. Wait, I thought that was used for humiliation. In the previous games, there was like a shield that is like used for punishment. Huh, interesting. All right. So, we definitely, we definitely, we definitely unlocked all the armor pieces, or most of them, for the armor set that these guys have. Black robes? No. No, not dark armor. Um, ah, the alone knights. The bonds of the alone knights who served the Iron King were mightier than the land's iron. But in the end, knights were subsumed by the flames that brought the castle down. Okay. Brothers in arms. That's so nice. We have a freaking bonfire. Ironheart Hall. Wait, wait, wait. What? Iron Hearth Hall. Interesting. Okay, now is this an illusory wall? No, it's not. Door ahead. Ah, yes! Let's freaking go! Now we're freaking talking. Now we're talking. Though, I kind of... Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. Come on out. I'm dead. Oh my gosh. Oh. Fudge. Fudge. Give me my freaking souls, dude. Oh, we finally got the full armor set. Let's go. That's what we're talking about. All right, so we're going to go back to the bonfire. Um, Iron Keeper, we're going to go back to here, to Threshold Bridge, because I want to talk with uh, uh, Marigold. Marigold or Marigold. I don't know his name. Because I want to spend all these souls that we have. So is that the main boss of the area? If so, that's kind of awesome. We felled him. That was a really good uh, boss design. I like that a lot. I wonder if they're going to come try to fight me. 
This one will. It'd be cool if like, if that NPC actually saw what I did in front of him, he'd actually comment on it. I think that'd be very cool. Finally decided to come and visit. Yes, because I actually have uh, money now to, to buy all this gear. I'm always out of money. Now I have plenty of it. Okay. Repair powder. Let's buy one of these. Sure, let's buy all of this. Hawkeye Golf. Appreciate the work that you do. All right. So now let's talk with, wait, uh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, let's buy. Let's buy. Let's buy. Let's just buy everything from this guy. This is gonna be the place where we farm souls from now on because there's so, they drop so much souls per kill. This is just the, the best. I think taste. Really, I did. Here. You should like these. Covetous gold serpent ring plus one. Thank you. Hey, you know that old fella? But the whole canoe. He talks really odd. I don't know. Me... We gotta find Ben Hart. That's something Hello. we're gonna have to do as well. Uh, he gave us a gold serpent ring. Hey, fallen foes are more likely to drop items. That's what we're talking about if we want to farm everything in this game. Let's go. I like it. I like it. Thank you. Quite unusual taste, don't you? Have you heard of the shrine on the east built by me? Hey! Hey, where are you off to? Frickin' butthole. My gosh, dude! This is a tough place. I want to be done with it. Alone at Night Helm. Actually, maybe if we like farm all this, farm these uh, guys, then we can sell them to a merchant and make even more money. Cause we're making so much money right now. Oh, that's epic. Super epic. Come fight me! Come fight me! Wait, wait, why am I why am I going here? Oh, whoa, whoa, where, where are you going? Okay. go there we go nice that's great oh my gosh dude the whole freaking horde is joining the party This is an AB. Oh, that's crazy. It's an AB conversation. See your freaking self out of it. Holy frick. Freaking. Ah. Oh. 
so annoying, man. Like, I can't, I can't freaking give this game a genuine compliment sometimes because it's like pisses me off so much. Oh, this has got to be like, oh my gosh, dude. This has got to be the most irritating Dark Souls game that I've played to date. Uh, this takes the cake for irritation. Oh, you're... Oh my god, dude. I freaking want... I... Man. If I can transcend the bounds of my reality to hop into this game, I would freaking do horrible things to this freaking dude right here. I cannot... Stand. Oh, I can't backstab these guys. I cannot stand you, dude. Only I can freaking reach my hand into the screen here. I would. Oh my gosh, a pursuer. That was kind of. That's shocking. To what do I owe the pleasure? Except your eyes aren't glowing red. Dude. You guys are getting stronger and stronger every every day. stunned him. Oh. The way this one, like, it's kind of weird. This one does not have any glowing eyes. That, that's throwing me off a bit, but... That kind of took me by surprise. A ring of blades plus one. He's kind of like the forlorn. He kind of just shows up. <sighs> my train of thought was completely derailed. Hopefully I can find it again. I don't know what I was saying. Before that man just hopped into my world. I genuinely don't know what I was saying. So, was it so? Oh, it was something like I wish. Oh, wait, wait, what the frick just happened? It was like um, jumping through the reality of. of Of Frick, hold on this. I can't think I was saying I wish I can transcend reality, reach my hand into the screen, and so I can strangle the guy. It's causing me all these issues. Gosh, that really took you a long time to say, Gabe, huh? Yes. I did. Take me a long time. Yeah. Where did this take me? Where art thou taking me? Oh, yes. Dude, what is this freaking castle? What is this castle? Thunder Quartz Ring? Excuse me. We got a Thunder Quartz Ring plus one. Oh. Increases magic defense. We got a Ring of Blades plus one as well. Increased physical attack. 
That might be good for us because we are we do rely heavily on our uh, physical abilities right now. And there's a bonfire? Oh, dude. Too, you're too kind, video game. You're too kind. The Belfry Soul Approach. How the heck am I gonna. Uh, there's gotta be something. Ooh! There's a dude here. It's a dwarf! The Bell of Ven. What? Where have I heard that before? Yo, this guy's crazy. No. I want to talk with him. I like this guy's voice Stay acting. It belongs to the prince. Yes, it do. This is awesome. <laughs> well, this guy's crazy. You wish to guard the bell, you do. For the princess and prince forever. For true. Oh, is it warning me what type of enemy I'm going to fight? Like a... Abandon your covenant and join the Bellkeeper Covenant. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, sweet. Enter the covenant. Thanks, man. I like free stuff. Bellkeeper's sale. Around the bell, you'll be brought near. When the bell is in trouble, the ring brings you here. Wow. Whoever they are, wherever, whoever they are, wherever they are. <laughs> Who is this guy? What? what? I don't even. <laughs> oh man, whoever voice acted this guy's lines probably had a blast. Maybe he's just happy that he has a purpose, huh? In Ven, the bell of the fine prince in Alkin. Turn to bits. Gather around and ring the bell swift. We've been ringing this bell forever, we have. <laughs> is it is a bell of awakening of some sorts? What's going on here? In Ven, the bell. Oh my gosh, dude's crazy. Uh, okay, so he gave me an item. Is it a ring? Did he give me a ring? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Bellkeeper seal. Ring for the Bellkeeper Covenant. Ring of the Bellkeeper Covenant. Join this covenant and wear this ring to be automatically summoned to the world of an invader of the Bellkeeper's domain. The twin bells symbolize the bond between two lovers who can never be united. The Bellkeepers are their eternal guardians, for that is their love. That is their curse. Ah, interesting. So, this guy is a Bellkeeper, and he watches the bells. Interesting! And a... No, rest, because I'm going to go back to Majula. I'm going back to Majula. I'm going to check the cat, see what my... Because it says I maxed out a covenant. I've never done that before, so let's go talk with Soldierin, because I'm assuming I maxed out the the Way of Blue covenant. So we're going to level up real quick. Um... 
Nice. Pure faith build, baby. Pure faith build! And let's meet with Saldrin. No, wait, we gotta join the Covenant. Yeah, let's join this Covenant. I will. Enter Covenant. I have way of blue. Now let's talk. Give me something new. You may notice symbol. Do you see the way that but don't venture? Okay. We're in a rush, are we? Yeah, we're in a rush. I maxed out a covenant. Which one did I max out? I thought I uh, maxed out the Way of Blue Covenant, but maybe I maxed out a different one about invasions. Oh. Shout Qua the cat! Oh, I did! The Way of Blue! We maxed it out, so maybe we do a different one. Nah. Rank three. We'll we'll just stay a part of it. I don't really care. Have you made friends with the man by the sea? He's lost. Oh my. And we don't even have enough souls to get that different uh ladder. Maybe hold on. All right, let's go buy the most expensive ladder from this ladder guy. See what he, he does for us. <laughs> Come to see out. What does he have? Reinforced club, whip claws, thief. Okay. What? Set up ladder. All right, well, let's see what happens. Really? A very generous offer indeed, especially from you. I get such a warm feeling inside when I get the chance to help others. <laughs> I bet you do, man. Now, give me the best ladder anyone has ever built. Hey, it goes all the way down to the bottom. Hey, this ladder's not for sale. The, the only things I sell are miniatures. Here you are, my friend. Ah, you yes. Can have these. Hey, it's a little bonus, you know, for your big purchase. Thanks, man. Melu Skimata, inherit ladder smith guillotine's equipment. Oh, Let's on. go. Don't look. You're hopeless. You wouldn't believe the shenanigans. Uh, oi! Hey, we got a scimitar! Woohoo! Scimitar, scimitar! Ooh, look at this thing. Nothing notable about this weapon except perhaps the luxurious jewels embedded in the hilt. If your aim is to appear dazzling on the battlefield, this one just might do the trick. Hey, we just got the drippiest sort of all, oh, man. That's what we're talking about. Ooh. Kicked back and relaxed, are we? What changed? Um, sorry, have we met? Oh, sorry. It's just I've been awfully busy lately. <laughs> Care to look over my wares? Please, be my guest. I upgraded my stock recently, although it may be a bit out of your reach. Bro, who is this guy? We already bought all of that. Oh, we have the Smelter Demon armor set. Let's go. Not that much strength required to wield it. I like it. A great mass of iron that was given life. Higher fire defense. Oh, we're going to use this to get those secret items that we have. Uh, the old king was possessed of a great bounty of ore, but who but was incinerated by a creature that rose from the infernal depths of the earth. So the king of Iron Keep got killed by this thing. 
and then became a part of it. Oh, that's pretty cool. High fire defense. Yeah, we're gonna have to equip that armor. Are you sure? Six. Well, I'm looking for armor. Everything I offer. Why did this guy become so smug? <laughs> I'm rich. I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> he answered. He answered my question, dude. What I don't the need to go home anymore. Home. Home. Where? Where is home? Shut the frick up, Malin. I'm rich. I'm, I'm home. I'm home. Dude, he's just like, I'm, I'm sure. rich, me. I'm rich, man. Look at look at the way the smug dude is sitting. Frickin' smug. Nah, man. I might just slay you. Kickbacked. Oh. I want to go home. I want to go home. Why don't you just do it then? Go home. Alright then. Freaking little... What a smug loser. <laughs> we gotta save up money to buy from him though, which sucks. Alright, alright. Here we are. Here we are. Let's buy more of these. You can't get enough of these. Thank you. Let's talk again. Are you going to give me anything else? Don't uh, we call this not too special if you ask me. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. Now let's go back. To the bell tower. And walk through the mist. And fight this boss and call it an episode. Because we've been recording for one hour and 40 minutes. Let's do it. Do it. I'd say the worst part about this game. I think the single worst thing about this game are the archers. The archers are the worst part about this game, in my honest opinion. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. The frick was that? Dude, what is happening right now? Who are these people? What is going on right now? Bell Keeper Shield? I'm sorry. What the frick is going on here? Oh, it's a widow midget coming to kill me! Oh my gosh, I'm so afraid! Psych! Never afraid. My name is Sir Gabithy. Sir Gabithy never backs down from a challenge. That is a promise. So. It seems. This guy is kind of creepy. Who are these guys? I feel like someone is summoning these dudes. Or they're made of like like some goo. Weird. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. <gasps> we rung the bell of awakening! <coughs> oh, that's such a classic. Visions of Phantom. Something just happened. Oh man, that's that brought me back to ringing the first bell of awakening from Dark Souls One. That made me so freaking happy. We triumphed over the the bell gargoyles. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I really love that. Now we're on the rooftops. Holy gosh. He hasn't shot his burst of three out of the other one yet. These guys are dangerous. You really got to be careful for the uh, the triple bow and arrow crossbow guys. They're dangerous. Oh my gosh! Look at this fudging landscape. Oh my gosh! Oh, 
Oh, this is freaking beautiful. Welcome to the party! Yes! Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Just gotta enjoy the environment, man. Look at this. Wait. Wow. Literally looks like a painting. The further you look out, the more like a painting it looks. That is sick, dude. That is so cool. But where did this place come from? Because down below should be a windmill village. The windmill village. So it's kind of weird. Simpleton spice. That's useful. Oh god. This guy again. Oh gosh, I hate that! Oh wow, oh wow. Orma's Great Shield, let's go! For the arena. Alright, alright. Goodbye, chat. Goodbye, little archer, you mini archer. Oh, is he gonna say fatty? <laughs> yes! The fatty. It's not a Dark Souls game unless you get called fatty. Simpleton Spice, that's what we're talking about. What's up in here? What's up in here? What's up, cuz? Why is there dead bodies up in there? <laughs> Immolation! Immolation. Wait. Uh. Immolation. 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 What? Immolation? <laughs> what the frick? Man, I really wish in this game had like a a new, like sort by new, whatever items you just received. That would be nice. Be wary of item in short life. Appreciate your message, human FC. Try clop snake trotches. Is this another invention by Elizabeth? Uh, yes it is. Trotches that exclude the scent of rust temporarily boost petrify resist. Verbal histories often mention St. Elizabeth, her, oh my gosh, three in the morning. Uh, her uniquely concocted medicines and potions are still widely used today. <laughs> She's a legend. She deserves to be talked about for generations. She and she has been. For centuries, probably. Millenniums. We're back in Iron Keep. <laughs> Almost two hours, I think. Thank you, message. All praise the message. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So clutch. I wouldn't miss that. <laughs> Black Knight Greatsword. I think we already have one of those. Is there power stancing in this game? So can you equip two of the same weapon and actually have a new moveset? That'd be nice. Protective Chime, Grand Spirit, Tree Shield. The Grand Spirit Tree Shield. Orma's Great Shield. Shield of the knights who long ago attempted to conquer the undead crypt. But we did. Uh, they bore no weapons, only a shield split in two. Left and right halves, which 
also used to playfully crush their foes until their corpses were needed beyond recognition. <laughs> the engraving depicts two messengers from the hereafter who welcome the recently dead by reviewing the merits of their deeds in life. That's a bit creepy. Holy crap, what a twisted uh, item description. Cleric small shield. Grand spirit tree shield. Shield of the blue spirit tree that, that and is said to possess divine powers. Appears in the allegory of Quela, god of dream, and can deflect spells by parrying. Ooh. <laughs> Once there was a boy who was easily frightened until the talking tree of dream world transformed itself into a shield to protect him. Wow. What boy is he referring to, though? It's too mysterious for me. We got a sacred chime. This is just a nightmare. How does one even get... I guess you gotta use that lever, but how does one get over there to that boss door? Oh, wait! Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out later. Actually... Nah, no, might as well go. Go down. Let's pull. The lever, Kronk! Burn! Burn, you fools! Burn! What happens if I pull it again? Stay up there and don't bother me. Okay, that's nice. This is not nice though. Okay. Boom, you're dead. I hate that the archer could see me from down there. Ironclad helm. Okay, let's walk over here. Oh my gosh. Did I just get lucky? Oh, it didn't happen how I thought. Okay. Take him down. Take him the frick down. Oh my gosh. Ah. I'm dead, 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 I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my gosh, dude, that's terrifying. Ooh, get juked, kid. You're absolutely juked. I'm better. I'm better. I don't care. I don't. I don't care who this is. Get off me. I'm better. I'm better. Okay. Okay. So now. Let's pull again. He, he can literally shoot me off. Of course, there's no iframes for pulling levers. What the fudge is this stupid game? Let's freaking fight. Come at me, you freaking idiot. I'm so ready. I'm so ready to kill you. Freaking loser. Oh my god. Ok. 
Okay, let's see what's up here first. Oh no! Can we block? Oh! Get juked! Come on, get up there, get up there, come on! Oh! We got up! Oh, you're great. You're great at what you do. You're guarding your castle, you're just doing your nightly duties. I hold nothing against you, you're just protecting your castle. Sorry, I am the odd one out. I'm the one invading your castle and doing what I want to while inside. Okay. No illusory walls. I have a feeling it's a mimic. Oliver the Collector. So this guy is going to be an uh, actual problem. He's going to poise through that. Run. Freaking run away from this guy. Oh! What the heck was that? Dude, frick off. What the frick was that? Gosh dang it, man. Oh! That pisses me off! Stamina! I don't have enough of it! Patience is... <laughs> patience is just the number thing, one thing in this game. I'm sorry, I, I lost my patience there and I got angry. Forgive me. I got angry. <laughs> what a stupid... <laughs> stamina! Everything in this game requires some stamina. I, I'm just gonna freaking put stuff into endurance now because screw everything else Screw screw having 47 faith Stamina is gonna be oh I missed this Simpleton spice stamina is gonna be the new the new thing. I level up now everything is worthless stamina is the most important stat in all of Dark Souls games period why even put a stat in anything else? Why put so many stats in the faith for it to just be meh? You know what I mean? It's not even good. It's just average. Goodbye, sir. Oh, that's nice. Freaking getting bullied by midgets out here! I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna freaking die! I'm gonna die by the midgets. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's terrifying! Get away from me, you cretins! You're not- you don't have your shield up. You don't have your shield up. You don't have your shield up. You're not blocking with it. Why- why are you taking reduced damage? Alright, cool. Alright, rage- rage aside. Let's move forward with our lives. And, uh, not get freaking destroyed by a jerk with a giant club and multiple different things. He absolutely destroyed us. That was insane. That was not cool. So. We're going to open this door again. We're going to freaking drop them into the lava. We're going to drop these guys into the lava. What the fudge was that? Alright, goodbye, dude. Goodbye. Alright, so. We're going to get invaded. We know that's a thing, so we're gonna have to get prepared for that. Destructive great arrow. Alright, alright. So now we're gonna heal. We're gonna use a mid force until we can't anymore. We're gonna dodge backwards, we're gonna use it now. Alright, now we're gonna wait.
Nice. Oliver the Collector. He's moving a little bit faster now. Okay, now we're gonna use this. I don't even care who you are, I'm backing up now. He's in now. heal ourselves oh he has one of those again okay we're in danger here he's not dead okay why don't we just do that the first time Oliver the collector who the frick is Oliver the Collector? Hmm. And then there's another ladder. We accidentally stepped on that trap. Oh my gosh. Oh, frick. That's just gonna be a waste, we know that. Um, so life gem. Three Estes flasks remaining. Oh, I hear someone with a chain. Oh my gosh. This is AIDS. It's a bit AIDS, all right? So, what do we do when we're encountered with AIDS? We, we return the favor. Oh, this sucks so much. I, this sucks so much booty cheeks. If I jump down, if I, if I go through here, I'm dead. Can I bait one of them? What even is this, man? <sighs> Why? Why do these games have to suck like this? All right, we're just gonna wait. That's epic. Alright, so he's going down. <laughs> I'll let the the powerful magic of poison take you out. There we go. <laughs> There's a life gem. And let's switch to this one. That's oh, weird. Nice. Please get poisoned. There we go. That's what we're talking about. <clears throat> poison, poison. Please kill him. Poison is so strong in this game. It's like the Scarlet Rod of Elden Ring. There we go. And uh, now we're going to deal with this guy head on. It better not be a secret butthole to my left. No, no, we're good. There we go. See, that's how you tackle a situation. Thank gosh. I had, thank goodness I had those, uh, what you may call it, poison darts on my person. Because that just would have been the worst. Would have been the worst. Black Knight Great Axe. I, love, I know all too well about the Black Knight Great Axe. It is the best weapon in uh, Dark Souls 1. So now, we're gonna jump down. This could be bad, because there's probably gonna be some archers down there. Oh, there is, nice.
So many people have died here. Try range battle sniper spot. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, there's a saw. Holy crap, there's a saw that goes down the middle. Oh man. Holy freaking crap. Okay, we're gonna have to use this. <gasps> oh my gosh. Please just run off and die. Oh, you want to stay stagnant and do that? Okay. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying these episodes. I'm sorry. I, I feel like my commentary and my ability to put the story together has been very lackluster uh, in Dark Souls 2 compared to Dark Souls 1. So I'm sorry if the quality has dropped. Like, I, I just... I don't know. For some reason, I'm not connecting dots like I was in... Uh, Dark Souls 1. Like, I, I'm getting all the Dark Souls 1 references in this game. Be, you know what I mean? But uh, I don't feel like I've done a good job commentating, so... Uh, I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm, I'm kind of just taking it in. And I... Because I can't... It's hard to talk. Why did he roll? I did not press B! Freaking crap, man! <laughs> oh my gosh! Holy crap! Why? Has that happened before? I don't remember my character automatically rolling! What the fudge? This game pisses me off too much. This game just pisses me off way too much. It's not good. I am so unbelievably pissed off from that, man! That's probably... The, the angriest I have ever been playing this stupid game. F*** off. F*** off! You dumb pieces of fucking f*** you guys, dude. F*** you guys. F***ing assholes. I don't even need to do that anymore, do I? I, I do. Oh, he's gonna roll. Oh, wait, he didn't roll. Cause, cause guess what? Cause guess what? My guy wanted to roll last time for some freaking stupid reason. I didn't press B. So why did that happen? The first time I dropped down here, and then it doesn't happen the second time. This game doesn't make any sense. This stupid game makes no stupid sense. It's ridiculous. I don't know what the frick, the, are the walls, are the walls gonna like, Cave it on me. Oh God. Oh God. You re you really you really fucking chose the worst fucking enemy placement in the in the, in the world. Fuck this game, dude. I'm pissed right now. I'm sorry. I'm pissed off right now. I'm so angry. I'm screwed. This is a death trap. Oh. Oh, 
it, it caught me. It caught me somehow, right? Right? Because this is supposed to catch me. I hear chains. Is someone else coming? So I should be protected if I go into the different quadrants. Yeah. One one quadrant at a time, except I can't get Okay. I don't have the armor that will let me survive. Like, I don't trust that I can make it in between that. Um, I, I'll have to come back here a different time. <laughs> Where am I right now? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How lucky the frick am I? No, the frick way. Bonfire? <gasps> Ooh! Should there be a bonfire here? Please! <laughs> Please! Wait, what? Something about Quagmire? Quagmire and short Quagmire. I don't know what Quagmire means. So this is how you get over here. In short, am I about to get destroyed by a freaking boss? I probably am. What the heck was that? Read message. Try plunging attack or no lock on required ahead. Okay. Let's use a amber turd. So we're gonna need two of these. Uh, okay. Heal, we got plenty of heals. Pop this. Um do we also Alright, uh, repair powder. Frick me, man. Oh, that's a gauntlet. <gasps> a cutscene boss. Oh, shoot. I'm scared now. Oh. Oh, my gosh. No. 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 I don't want to. Oh. Oh. What is happening? What is this? Oh! Is this the king of Iron Keep Castle? Old Iron King, it is! Try plunging attack. What is over here? Oh. Oh, that's nice. 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 <sighs> yeah, uh, guys, I will see you in the next episode of uh, Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. With all the anger that I have, I'm still happy that some people are enjoying the Let's Play. Uh, I will come back to kill this guy in the next episode. Uh, any more would make me a lot more angry than I already am. So I'm just going to leave you guys with a peace, love, God bless you. Uh, I'm sorry for all the anger and the rage that I had. And I will see you in the next episode of Dark Souls 2. Scholar of the First Sin. I don't like this place. 
I, I very much don't like this place. 